guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel then welcome my name is Charlotte and I do fashion lifestyle and beauty videos and today I have got my 12 week pregnancy update for you I can't believe it's been 12 weeks already and I've just weighed myself and I kind of got a shock so um wait out for that one if you are new to my channel then please do hit that subscribe button it's on the right hand side of your screen and I would love to have you back and part of like my little YouTube family I do this for fun I would just love it if you could come along on my journey this is my first pregnancy um, so it's completely new to me I have no idea what's normal and what's not normal so I'd love to have you and so that we can leave comments with each other and just yeah, share our journeys together so I'm gonna get straight on into this video so as you know I'm gonna go through a list of questions so that each week it is kind of got some sort of structure to it otherwise I'm just gonna ramble on like I normally do so how far along am I I am 12 weeks and the size of the baby this week is a kiwi so the baby is getting larger like uh, really really quickly now if you think about it like the first um, when I first became pregnant at like five weeks it was the size of a sesame seed and I'm now the size of a kiwi not me the baby and that is a massive sort of difference within sort of seven weeks a big change so yeah my total weight gain so far so it's kind of hard because I never used to weigh myself too much I was around I was around 95 pounds I think before I became pregnant um, and then um, sort of a few weeks into my pregnancy I put on a little bit of weight and I came 98 and I stayed at 98 for a little bit and I am now on 102 pounds so I put on four pounds um, in the last sort of couple of weeks. Maternity clothes, no, I'm still in my own clothes, um, but I, I haven't worn jeans for a while because it's so hot. I don't think I'd fit into my jeans now because um, all my jeans are quite tight, um, but all my shorts and tops and stuff are still fitting me fine. Stretch marks, no, I'm still moisturizing like every day, morning and evening. How have I been sleeping this week? It has been so, so, so hot. I mean, it's been quite hot in Britain now for a month or two. I oh, can't feel like forever to be honest but this week seems to be getting hotter and that has really disturbed my sleep just because I've been really, really hot and you know when you wake up and you're like, oh my God, I'm so hot. And I've been going to the bathroom and running my hands, my feet under cold water just to cool myself down and get back into bed. Um, so sleep has been a little bit disturbed but I think that's mostly from the heat rather than the actual pregnancy. Best moment this week, well, and the really exciting thing was that we got to see the baby and it was growing and that, oh my goodness, I'm gonna go get the pictures, give me one second. I'm back. Yes, we got to see the baby. A little picture. I've got four different ones. So, these ones are a little further apart. These ones are a little bit closer. But yes, we got to see the baby for the first time. Measuring really well, like on time in regards to like when my last period was and all that sort of thing. So that's great. Um, missing anything? I'm missing being cold. <laughs> I'm so hot all the time and it's really uncomfortable. And yeah, that sort of thing. But otherwise, no. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty much eating everything I used to eat apart from like salami and steak. I would like to have a steak but I'm not really missing it, missing it. Um, any movement? No, but on the scan when we had it, the baby was moving around a lot. I obviously can't feel it yet, but it was amazing to see at one point as she was sort of looking around, the baby did a headstand. She was like, oh, he's standing on his, his or her head um, at the moment. Um, so that was, that was quite exciting to see. He was obviously, he or she was moving around a lot. So that was really good to see. Any cravings? I've actually gone back on to sweet things now. Uh, I like to eat chocolate again. You know, I went off food. I've kind of gone back on to food. Um, and I've been wanting quite a lot of sweet things. But then I've always wanted sweet things. So I don't know if that's a craving or it's just me. Because that's kind of normal for me. Anything making me queasy or sick? No, but again, if I don't eat and I get really, really hungry, I feel really, really low. Um, so I have to keep eating quite regularly, keeping my sort of energy levels up. I've also been insanely thirsty all the time. And obviously it's so hot at the moment. Um, I think yesterday I, drank, I can't even, I can't even like remember how many glasses of water I drank. I just kept going. I was so thirsty all the time. Any labour signs? No, thank God for that. Um, belly button in or out, definitely in still. Uh, wedding rings on or off, they're still on. 
I'm happy or sad most of the time. I'm pretty happy most of the time. Um, <sighs> this morning I was having a bad morning. Um, things were just getting on my nerves a bit easier than normal. Um, uh, things were testing my patience a little bit more. And uh, yeah, but that, otherwise I've been pretty happy. Um, any symptoms? Uh, not particularly. I haven't had anything too terrible. I mean, my first trimester has been pretty simple. Apart I've been feeling pretty good. So I think I've had it pretty easy compared to some people. Um, I was having a little bit of constipation at the beginning because of the tablets. Now again, this is probably going to get me some negative comments. Um, but I found something that really helps. And I have been actually having an iced coffee with my breakfast in the morning. And I know that people will say you should stay off caffeine. Um, but the NHS does say that you can have like two cups a day. So I'm, I'm alright and having one. I've been having an iced coffee in the morning. And you know what? That's helped everything happen and now I'm not struggling at all and I'm pretty much as regular as I used to be if that's too much information then I'm really sorry but if you are struggling with constipation maybe you can give that a go because it's not nice those tablets that you have to take for pregnancy just block you up and it's it's really uncomfortable so that's really helped me um, anything I'm looking forward to again I've got my NHS scan on Monday so I'm really looking forward to that belly shot I'm gonna do my belly shot now um, it's not really much happening, but I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see me. Here I am. So this is me with clothes on. I never know what to do with my arm. I'm like, I'm going to put it here. This is my belly. I mean, is there anything there? <laughs> this is me. It's so funny how white my tummy is compared to my shoulders and my face because of the sun. Um, I don't get my belly out very often. I just take my shorts down a little bit so that you can see. There we go. So this is my tummy from the front. I'm definitely filling out a little bit here. Um, there's a little slight pouch just here. Can you see that? But that could just be a food baby from breakfast. But yeah, there's my tummy. It's definitely changing. My body is definitely changing. I can feel my tummy isn't as flat as it once was. To be honest, it's like a hard stage. Let me just zoom you back in. I am finding this quite a hard stage because you kind of just look bloated all the time and you, you, I, do, I don't want to wear tight clothes because I just look like I've put on weight on my tummy which is somewhere where I never ever put on weight ever like the only place I normally put on weight is like my limbs like my arms will get bigger and my legs at the top of my legs and my bum will get bigger but my tummy is literally the last place I normally put weight on I just feel a little bit self-conscious at the moment because my tummy is just looking a little bit podgier than it normally would do so that was it for my 12 week scan i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please do give it a thumbs up and as i said before please do subscribe if you haven't already because it will just mean the world to me and i will see you in my next week's update and hopefully there'll be a video before that maybe not to do with pregnancy we'll see um but yes have a lovely day and i'll see you later